Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Hope everyone's having an amazing day. In today's video, we have a very exciting product battle. As you guys can see in front of us here, we have two of the 2022 Prism Monopoly blaster boxes. We also have two of the 2022 Prism Monopoly booster boxes. So these have been easily the most hyped up retail product we've seen in years. Um, they both kind of offer the same thing, except for in these Prism Monopoly um, blaster boxes, you get guaranteed the um no parking parallels some boxes you get two but you're guaranteed at least one no parking parallel per box where over here in the prism monopoly booster boxes there are a lot of all base boxes but i will say from my experience opening both the monopoly booster boxes produce better pulls the monopoly blaster box is hard to say for um, gambles is because you get the guaranteed parallel so both were $30 retail these were impossible to get on the panini website when they dropped people were buying the crap out of them so currently these resale around $60 per box these are around $45 to $50 per box so in this video we're going to be opening up two of each to see which is the better option long term or which is the bot the better option to open so we're looking for the ultra rare color blast and the money white inserts also loads of stunning monopoly parallels the only difference in these boxes is um, obviously you get the guaranteed parallels that you can only pull in the blasters, the no booster, or excuse me, the no parking parallels. And then in these, you can pull the black money shimmers, money black prism cards. And in these boxes, you can pull the money white inserts. So pretty similar boxes. There are some small differences, but without any further ado, let's get into the fun part of the video. Let's crack open these boxes and see how we do. Appreciate sure everyone staying along for the intro there. Pulled some really nice stuff from this product. It's been my favorite set to open in a long time. So now let's see what's uh, better, blasters or boosters. So we got six total packs. Both boxes offer the same amount of cards and packs. Let's see how we're treated. So everyone say a prayer to the card gods. Everyone say a prayer to the card gods. Let's get active. So we got Brunson, Jokic, Dame, and Terry Eason, rookie. We got Pascal, LeBron, Conley, and Jokic on the back. <clears throat> so there we go, we got a parallel back there. It's going to be one of the no parking parallels. Garland, Cat, KD, and we got Lori Markinen. See, the rookies are like impossible with this parallel. I've opened, this is my ninth box now, and I haven't pulled a single rookie parallel of uh, the no parking. But regardless, you get guaranteed one of these per box. <laughs> so it makes a big difference. Ooh, we got a white sparkle. Jamal Murray, Shaden Sharp rookie. Halliburton, and for the Pacers, let me get a rookie. Ah, oh, Tyrese Halliburton. Was hoping it would have been Ben Matherin. I'm not mad pulling a Halliburton. I like Halley. These are not numbered. Short printed uh, parallels. Absolutely gorgeous. I do not think you can pull these in the booster boxes. Let me double check. They'd be right here. Mr. Monopoly question mark. So no, you cannot pull them in here. So these are the blaster exclusive white sparkles. We got Fred, AD, Beal, and Bane. Our last pack of box one. So there we go. We got another bonus red. Got Trey, Ant-Man, Kyrie, and Luca. There we go. That is a beautiful card. The no parking parallel Luca Doncic. Take care of this one for sure. So easily the best pull we've had so far. So in this one blaster box, we got three parallels, two no parking parallels and a white sparkle. 
Let's get into box blaster number two. And that's just kind of the fun part about the blasters. You're guaranteed the parallels. You have a much better chance of getting some bonus ones as well. We could get some all base blast or uh, booster boxes. I've opened a lot of all base boxes. And let me tell you, let me tell you, man, those are some painful boxes because they're 30 bucks. I mean, they're expensive. They're not cheap. All right, box two. We got six more packs to go. Let's see how we're treated. We got Jokic, Dame, Terry Eason, and Pascal Siakam. I feel like I've pulled Terry Eason and Siakam from every box, every blaster I've opened. Let's see some parallels. We got Jaden Hardy, Aiton. This card has a bonus. This pack had a bonus card. Jabari Smith. Malik. And for the Bucks. Oh, Chris Middleton. Come on. It's my second um, Chris Middleton of this. Would have appreciated a Giannis there. Let's keep her moving. Got LeBron. Conley. Jokic for the Bulls. Zach Levine. So from 10 boxes, I didn't pull a single rookie <clears throat> of this parallel. So they're really tough. We're halfway through box two. At least we're getting nice parallels. Hopefully we can get a nice numbered card. We got shorted a card in this pack. There's only three. John Wall, Giannis, and Harden. In our last two packs. We got Garland, Big Cat, KD, and RJ. And our last pack of the blaster boxes before we move on to the boosters. We got Vucevic, Holiday, Marcus Smart, and Julius Randle. So that is going to do it for the blaster boxes. Here are all of the, let's just get these base cards out the way. Here are all the better than average pulls. And just all the nicer parallels. LeBron, Malachi, we've got some nice rookies. We got the Zach Levine, put these over here, Zach Levine, Middleton, White Sparkle, Halliburton. So no numbered cards, but we did get some nice parallels regardless. Beautiful Luca. Well, let's move on to the boosters. So like I said, you can pretty much pull the same stuff in these as you can the blasters. You just don't get the guaranteed parallel, so... In my opinion, these have the higher ceiling. It seems like they put the better cards in these. We'll see, though. All right, here we go. Six more packs. We are due for a monster. Let's pull one. Pack one of the boosters. We got Mobley, Luca. Lori and Kawhi. Um, Curry. There he is. Paolo, Damar, and Giannis. So in the blaster boxes, I don't think we pulled a single noteworthy rookie. We didn't pull a single Paolo, Ivy, Ben Matherin. So it was kind of rough, honestly. We got Giddy, Jamal, Shaden Sharp rookie, and Halliburton. Jeremy Sokan, Ja, Clay, and Embiid. So far, we got one of them all base boxes. We got rookie Jalen Duran. Suggs, Mark Williams, and Tyler Harrow. Hopefully we can get some nice last pack magic going for us. Oof. We got the all base box. RJ, Jaden Hardy, Aiton, and Jabari Smith. So we got all base cards, not a single parallel, but at least we pretty much pulled all the top rookies. I mean, there are some obviously missing, but it could have been worse. 
Hopefully box two can bless us because that was rough. And this goes to show that the blasters are obviously the safer option when you get the guaranteed parallels. See, what is this? Does this mean I won something? <laughs> it's the second time I pulled one of these from a box. I have no idea what it is. I got the other one right here, actually. Look. I have no idea. But all right, we got six more packs. Maybe that means that this box will be absolutely loaded. Hopefully. Maybe that's the indicator for a loaded box. We will find out. So far, it's looking like the blasters are an easy decision. Let's get active. Let's continue to stay active. Ooh, we got a dice parallel. Bang. Now that is what we're talking about. Wow. So shout out to whatever whatever this thing is. It must be a good luck charm. Got Jalen Brown, Dyson Daniels, Luca, and for the Suns. We're looking at Devin Booker. <laughs> what a absolutely beautiful card. The Dice Parallel Devin Booker. Been pulling a ton of him lately. Pulled his uh, Color Blast not too long ago. Also pulled his Gold Shimmer. It's like I'm a Booker magnet. Put this back here. Gorgeous. Five more packs to go. See if we can get the all-time greatest bla or booster box. Ooh, we got a bonus parallel, too. It's one of them teal waves. Colin, Zion, Mobley for the Hornets. Mark Williams. Not numbered. Also pulled his gold shimmer not too long ago. Him and Booker. If they, uh, them dudes have been following me. Four packs to go. Let's keep it going with all these parallels. I don't know what happened to this Jeremy Grant card down here. Miles Turner, Barnes, and Russ. Halfway through. Oh, we got a silver. Nice. Three parallels in one box. That makes up for our dud box. Christian Wood, Booker, Green, and for the Warriors. Draymond, of all people. Should have been Curry. Still, we'll take a bonus parallel. We still got two packs. Keep hitting us with these parallels. We got Chris Paul, Draymond, KD, and Keldon for our last pack. One of them all base... There's Levine, Middleton, JB, and another Dyson Daniel. So a lot of Dyson Daniels. So that's going to do it for this little battle. Let's go over all of the, the hits, the better pulls, so you guys can get a better comparison. We did two blasters, two booster boxes. Here are the hits from the booster boxes. So we got the Draymond Silver, Mark Williams, bunch of base rookies, including Paolo, and this beauty right here, the Dice Parallel of Devin Booker. So we got a lot of nice stuff. This is not numbered, but they're really, really tough pulls. Super, super short print. Then for the blasters, got the White Sparkle Halley, Levine, Middleton, and Lori Markinen on the no parking parallels, LeBron base. And our best card was the Luka Doncic, no parking. So I don't know which one I like better. I'm in love with both products. I'll open a bunch of them and, you know, not complain at all. So it's tough for me to really decide overall. I'm leaning towards the booster boxes, honestly. So that's what I think. I'm definitely curious to hear what your guys' opinions are. Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Show some love as always. And peace out.